on nuclear destruction, ultimately. But it also begins with with the Third World's War com commencing, you know? Uh, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind shall not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Now the only ones who are able to be sealed are Israelites. And not only that, they have to be of, of the elect, of the election, who, who the Heavenly Father has called. Anybody else, they'll be destroyed. Second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the word of prophecy. That's what we do when we come out here. Speaking of who's his people, like the brother brought out, Israelites. But who of Israel the elect? We're speaking in their ears the words of prophecy. Why, why is it important for them to know prophecy? To know the times we're living in and to know to come back under the banner of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to be saved out of it. Alright, it says, which I will put in thy mouth. So the words that we're speaking are our own words, man. It's the words of the Heavenly Father. Yeah. And we're speaking it out on the streets. All right? Yeah, we do studio shows and, and, and things like that. But the main thing is prophesying out on the streets. Yeah, it's a part of the word getting you know? out. There's no sin in uh, doing a studio show. That's the word getting out. But we, and we, basically, we're covering all bases, man. Right. We're doing what we're supposed to do. None of you assholes can say shit about That's your right. brothers doing the work. And I'm going to say this, man. A lot, a lot of you that don't go out, I'll, that's me saying it. Don't go out, motherfuckers, because y'all ain't teaching the truth. You're teaching lies and bullshit. Yeah. Like, I don't want to set up a camp out here. They'll be teaching lies yeah. and bullshit. But the reason why y'all go out is to spite GM, uh, spite, uh, spite the apostles of GM. And they don't less. You know? But what, what you don't know, you're not spiting, you're not spiting, man. You're spiting Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You come, you fighting, you fight, you kicking, like Paul said, like, like uh, Yahweh Shai said to Paul. Kick it against the bricks. Don't kick it against the bricks, and you're going to hurt yourself. That's all y'all doing, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all y'all doing, man. What? And cause them to be written in paper. Oh, what y'all reading this paper is going to you other assholes out in the world. These are the words of the Heavenly Father. He said, cause these words to be written in paper. And you see, you read, read paper, are we not? Right. It says, for they are faithful and true. What's faithful and true? The prophecies of the Heavenly Father. That's right. America being destroyed. All right? All hell about the... And before the, before the actual destruction, it's going to be all hell out here. Right. Don't forget about the famines. Don't forget about the race wars. That's why every minute you hear about this town is getting ready. So, so, so far, Jake is just destroying their own town. The Lord's going to put in their spirit to go outside their boundaries and start going to you so-called white people's neighborhood. Right. Hence, what do you have? A race war. That's prophesied in the Bible. Matter of fact, the very chapter I'm reading is going to go into that. That's right. It says... For they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. You people in the world, we don't fear you, and we damn sure don't fear you, Illuminati, the Illumin, the Illuminists, the so banking families, so-called Illumin, the so-called, because you're not we, we are the Illuminati. That's right. All right. Our, our power, our Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right. He's the he's he's the beacon that bright. He's the real bright morning star. All right, and us, his followers, his disciples, we are his illuminaries. That's right. All right, go ahead. So we don't fear none of your imaginations. Yeah, right. maybe they want to want to kill us, kill us, bitch. But it ain't gonna happen. You know why? Because Yahweh yeah, Bashim Yahweh Shai has this edge about us. Yeah, yeah. You can't do nothing. That, you can't do anything that the Heavenly Father don't allow you to do anyway. Yahweh yeah, Shai said that. All right. So whoever you do, do, do kill is because the Heavenly Father thank you. Right. Yahweh yeah, Shai told him to part this Bible. It says. Bear not the imagination against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Incredulity meaning the unbelief. Because you don't believe this, that don't bother us. And we're out here for the elect. We know, and we know that the, the Lord's men is a few in number. It says, that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And who, who they don't speak more against the GMS on the internet? But we're not the men of the Lord, though. Right. You are the assholes. You get praised by the world. We are hated. That's where we want to be. It says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. 
plagues, meaning diseases. It says, the sword, which the modern day sword is guns, machine guns, AK-47s, bombs, sonic weapons, sonic weapons, they have weapons lasers. now, they have weapons now that will take your whole flesh out and just leave your clothes. Yeah. That's just 15. I'm going to start at uh, 4 again. For all the unfaithful shall die in your unfaithfulness. Behold, thank the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. It said, it said, Behold, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. This is, the Lord's, remember that the Lord don't give a shit about the other nations. He's talking about the unfaithful of the nation of Israel. The so-called Negroes, Westerners, so-called Latinos out there. So-called Native, Native, Native Americans out there. That's who he's concerned with. That's his only people. So the unfaithful amongst these people shall die. Okay? Right. Because they were unfaithful. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues. And plagues are diseases. Who brings them diseases? Oh yeah, the white man, he's a... Who put it in the white man's mind to do that? The Heavenly Father. He controls all thoughts. Thank you. You know what they did? You know You know they released live and this week. This man, how shit happening this week, man? That's why brothers gotta stay awake, man. Stay awake. You know, the Pentagon released uh, or said that that they released live anthrax in, in your regular U.S. fucking mail, man. Just a couple of people got live fucking anthrax, man. Look it up. That happened this week. You see what I'm saying? So, and that wasn't by coincidence. All this shit that happens is by design. It's by design, man. And they're gonna release, they're gonna release some shit one day. There's a major event that's gonna happen. That is it's gonna dwarf what happened in 9-11. Alright? It's gonna dwarf that. Alright? And it's gonna eclipse that shit. And who's let, and what power is making them do this? The Heavenly Father. That's right. The Heavenly Father uses the so-called white man. Is that the scripture say that's his whipping stick? That's right. Man, white man's so bad in. The Heavenly Father is doing that. That's right. As according to the prophecies we're reading. That's right. Man. It says. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword.